10 starts with developing news. We begin in Gardendale where a community was railroaded for nearly nine hours with a train literally blocking people from getting in and out. I'm Art Franklin. And I'm Sherry Jackson. CSX just moved that train within the past hour after it blocked access to a community on McCormick Drive. CBS 42's Jake Chapman is live now in Gardendale. And Jake, I talked to Mayor Hoagland tonight. This was a critical situation for some people who even missed work because of that park train. And Sherry, some people missed even more than work. Some pretty special events going on in Gardendale tonight. And as you just mentioned, CSX came out here just about an hour ago. And 40 minutes ago, they were finally able to get this train off the tracks. As you can see, traffic is finally moving here off McCormick Drive. But a lot of people I've spoken to today tell me they have been out here since noon. And for those who got tired of waiting, they would cross between boxcars to get to the other side. One of the people we spoke with has a special needs child who needed to get their medicine and I've been told another child had to miss their Miracle League baseball game because of this. I spoke with a woman who tells me this isn't the first time this has happened but it's definitely been the longest. She tells me this train stopping have caused her and her family all kinds of issues and her family has been looking for a new place to live because they can't take it anymore because she along with everyone who lives in this area are flat out tired of this recurring nightmare. I'm missing work. It's preventing me to provide food for my child. Um, she's missing education, so I mean, we have to go somewhere else. There's no other way. Whatever, whatever it takes to get the intersection open, and then we'll be we'll be okay. We're fed up, and we just we just want a solution. And I actually spoke with the Gardendale police chief who was just here about 30 minutes ago. He says this issue has happened several times, and they've held meetings in the past with CSX and public affairs, and he expects there to be another one after an incident like this. We're in Gardendale tonight. Jake Chapman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.